Multicam editing is an ideal method for editing a scene that was captured with more than one camera. In the browser, I've already imported a number of clips that I'd like to use as my source clips, and I've created a sequence that I'm going to work on. In this example, I'm going to be working with a music video, and I want to use the CD track sound as my clean sound track. I've also marked in points on all of the clips, except this one, which I'll show you now. To create the multi-clip, I'll select all of the clips in the browser and then right-click on one of them and select Make Multi-Clip. In the dialog box, I need to select a synchronization method and the options are In Points, Out Points and Time Code. For the most part, we use the In Points that we've selected. The thin white line shown here shows us our In Point relevant to the clips and as you can see, some clips start later than others and some end later than others. Click OK. Double-clicking on the multi-clip in the browser will place it in the viewer. Before committing the multi-clip to the timeline, I like to check the synchronization of the source clips. If a clip appears to be out of sync, I hold down Shift and Control and then drag left or right to adjust synchronization in single frame increments. I've selected a 4-up display, but I still have access to my additional source clips. Switching between source clips in the viewer switches both video and audio. Since I want to use the CD track in its entirety, I'm going to instruct Final Cut Pro to manage video and audio switching separately. This process also determines which of the tracks will be edited to my timeline with the initial overwrite. Clicking on the sync button on top of the viewer gives me access to all of my video and audio tracks. By selecting audio A1 and 2, I can instruct the system which audio track to place in the timeline with my first edit. The green border confirms that this is the preferred audio source clip selection. To limit switching to video source clips only, I'll go back to the sync button and select video. A quick test confirms that video is switching while audio remains on the preferred audio source clip. When I'm working with a multicam edit, I prefer to work with a larger browser, so I'm going to change the interface to a 2-up display. Everything's in place now to edit my multicam clip onto the timeline, ensure all the tracks are connected, and hit the overwrite button. A quick look at the timeline confirms that the video and audio clips come from two different sources. To enable timeline switching, I need to replace the source clip in the viewer with the timeline multi-clip. To do this, I access the sync button in the canvas and select Open. Two rows of dots under the viewer confirm that indeed I'm now working on the timeline clip. I'm all set to do real-time switching in my timeline. I'll hit Play under the canvas and then switch between sources in the viewer. As I switch angles, Final Cut Pro places silver markers in the ruler area of my timeline. When I press stop, those marker points will be converted into edit points. I now have the option to finesse the sequence by trimming up some of the edit points for better timing. Uh, let's take a look at this one here. I'm just going to zoom in using Option Plus and then evaluate the edit with keyboard shortcut backslash. Calling up audio waveforms will be useful in helping me to determine the edit point. I'm going to place my playhead at the point I want to trim to, then select the cut I want to affect, and press E. This is just a faster method of doing a roll trim. Backslash to review the trim.
With the edit point still selected, I can adjust the position of the cut by using the comma and full stop buttons on the keyboard. And then backslash to review the new trim point. Let's assume for a moment that I'm not happy with the placement of one of the clips in my timeline. I can either switch the clip to a different angle, or I can cut to a different angle. Let me explain the difference. To switch to a different angle, I place my playhead over the offending clip, and then select a clip in the viewer to replace that clip with. The entire timeline clip is replaced by the new angle. Before I demonstrate the process of cutting to different angles, I'll need to change the functionality of the Timeline button bar. From the Tools menu, I'll select Button Bars, followed by Multi-Clip. The standard Timeline button bar is now replaced with the Multi-Clip button bar, and I can choose to switch or cut the clip that I'm parked over to a different angle. As you can see, an edit point was created at the position of the playhead and the second half of the clip was replaced with the new angle. If one of the clips in my timeline appears to be out of sync, I can adjust the sync for all instances of that clip in the timeline without having to create a brand new multi-clip. With the timeline highlighted, I'll initiate the find command with command F, type in the name and select Find All. Clips that match the search criteria are now highlighted in the timeline. In the tool palette, I'll select the Slip command and then click on the clip and type in a positive or a negative value, followed by the Return button. 